doing a stop motion animation set. Whoa, go Chloe, go Chloe. And if you haven't read my blog or watched my little animation video, which will be in the description below and on the clickable eye button, you wouldn't know that I've got an animation kit, which looks somewhat like this, but in this box. I didn't do an unboxing video, but I did a very good review on my blog and a little animation. So today I'll show you how I animated it using this. So we will unbox this and then this. It's like a little add-on pack which is new, so that's pretty cool. But put that to one side and find out that I used this. And it's very, very good for animating because it's a webcam with a movable head. Wow! It's really good for animating. That is if you're good at animating yourself. Because mine, let's just say it's quite silly. <laughs> very silly. And I made it out of clay. And in this box, it did come with clay. And guess what? I played with it and it's not tidy. But in this box, I'm pretty sure if I read it correctly, there is top quality modelling clay in here. So it'll look exactly how it was in here, but it's in here, which is good. So I used this, moulded it, moved it around a bit, and it's really hard actually. You've got to take a frame, take a frame, take a frame. But with this, it moves around really well. It, it, you can stiff, stiff uh, on it, like with this thing. Now that makes it all loose and greasy. <laughs> don't worry, I haven't broken this. It just gone droopy. If I tighten up this little, that loosened it. If I tighten it up, <laughs> I think I've. <laughs> I don't, I didn't break it, I don't think. Well, uh, it's fixable though, with the power of Chloe. Wow. Wow. It's fixed. Ta -da! You can make it as loose as you like. So for instance, if you wanted it to just kind of lay on the floor and then you could move it and nudge it to make it look like the camera broke down or making a silly animation, if you want, that is. For my animation, let's just say you need to check it out to know how silly it is. It was just an idea, but the next thing it comes in is a spooky background. Woo! And a forest background. And a forest background. Ooh. And how to animate. And it also comes with a code for animating to get this software look license code. I'm not going to read it out so then you can get license because your point is you're going to buy this. And I'm showing you how good it is so you do buy it. And right there it should say U3D license codes. That's what it says but I'm not going to read it out because then you could get it for free. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to buy it because it's awesome. And what do you do with awesome things that cost a bit of money? You buy them, of course. The book shows step-by-step -step instructions, including how to make a penguin. It shows like a simple storyline, which you could try out. So I'll read it out quickly. Where is it, the little storyline? Look, example, penguin discovers all of his fish fingers are missing. So that's the beginning and in the middle. Example, penguin spots, but for instance, decides to investigate. And penguin discovers his friend has used his fish fingers to make him a surprise birthday cake. Fish finger birthday cake, my favourite. <laughs> but it's just called the fish finger mystery. It's a quite an easy little cute animation. But it gives you tons of ideas, but you don't have to do a penguin like this do down here. You can do anything, and I mean anything you like here. You could do 
a sperm whale that walks and flies through heaven while rampaging lions try to eat his favourite cloud? That was just something that's in my head and now I regret saying it because my mind is bonkers. So now you know, my mind is just really, really silly. So now you'll understand if you watch my animation video or if you watch it after this video, then you'll realise what goes on this, in this head of mine and why it looks like that. Quick idea, and I stick to the plan. Which is the problem with me, is I always stick to the plan when I have a silly idea. Except for if I get bored, or if I don't want to stick to the plan, which happens a lot. I need a little bit more confidence. <laughs> a little bit. And here is our green screen! Can you see my face at all? You also get a DVD on how to use UTD if you want to put it on your laptop. <gasps> how amazing! Now for the main review! This! It includes this wire amateur. Can you pronounce it? Awesome mature or, or awesome wire armature. There, I said it. It's not usual that I pronounce things right, but I pronounced it right. So go, Glory. And of course, I said the le word right. <laughs> a lot easier than I agreed it looked like it was. It's an animation book. A different kit but it has similar items. So this is the exact same one as the pain brings in, which is cool. This is how to use the D on the phone. Whoa, you can use it on the phone now and it will show you how to. And right here is a different thing. It's got metal on it and foam. It's for the little wire amateurs because they have metal things on their legs to make sure they stand up, obviously. But then under the foam, so the foam will be a green screen, obviously, so you can change its colour. But then they'll be standing through the foam, that they'll be standing on the foam, and the magnetic force will go through the foam onto the metal. It's actually very heavy, so I'm going to put that down. And it's a foam green screen without metal. So, so it's just a normal foam green screen, which is actually really cool. And it might be a lot easier to use than this. No, I mean, it might be a bit easier to use with the amateurs than with just normal clay, because this is good with clay, this is good with the amateurs. Just to give that out, let that out to you. This is, I think it's a foam stand. And I shall open it to make sure it is exactly what I thought it was it is a phone stand which I think I will use for a lot more things than just animation because we need one of these wow it's amazing I put my phone there and it can film okay I'll be using this a lot more then just animation because I need one of those and that's handy so did it I'm happy with this kit now already really happy ah! da, 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 da. Oops, a little bit stiff just needs to be loosened up a bit look at that da, 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 da. now on the feet of him has metal feet it see is because it's very strong and that I can just tell them because it's that strong. This not so much, the phone not so much but that's strong metal and that's strong magnets then. When you're animating you could definitely do this. A lot better than me. <laughs> Ta -da! Or this.
like I showed earlier. The first kit that I showed you, this one, with, with the green screen and everything, is best for someone with a computer or an iPad to film with. And then this one is best for someone with a phone, and which is a lot easier to use because it comes with a phone stand, which is actually quite high quality, which I'm quite surprised with. If, and a good green screen and everything you need, really. Ta-da! You can also use this with the laptop if you need to, too. Did you? <laughs> and the next thing is I don't know. It's on my phone stand that holds my phone. There we go. It's on. It sounds like I'm like a super villain or something. It's on. <laughs> like it's on. Okay, I'll just put a phone stand on. So you put your phone in there, nice and secure. The, the, and the last thing is clay. And they're top quality clay. Yay! And I got it in this kit too. So it doesn't really matter what kit you get if you want the clay with it because both kits have the clay in. And did I also mention, no I didn't, I definitely didn't, that you can put this clay on your wire amateur, a bit like Sean the Sheep, if you haven't watched that, go check it out because it's quite good. But it's quite good, I actually really like it and it's made by... Osman! Perfect! Chloe's got a really good brain! <laughs> so I've got my mum's phone right here and there's a picture of me pulling this in the face. <laughs> I did it just to tease her and she ended up keeping it on there. Just to tease you. Just to tease me. And it came in black, but here we go. So I will click on the app, UTD Remote Control, and it says my mum's name was there. And it's because it's her iPhone, not mine. It, it's filming, look. It's me. Hello, this is really weird, but hello. <laughs> I've got my little wire amateur right here. And the good thing about UCD is it all fits in the box. So you animate in the box. So I've got the box right there. And I will use it sideways because that's what I'm going to do. Oh. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to animate. <laughs> or attempt to so all you've got to do is you click this button and it will capture a frame you go to your little filming station pick up your wire amateur or well, move him a tad like this let it focus and you'll see the shadow it's not like a ghost is haunting your screen or anything it's just telling you how much you've moved it and then you click that. Oh, I clicked that too many times. So I click on that and click this button. And it deletes the thing that I do. So, for instance, if I click this by accident and I didn't want it to happen, I click on this and I click this button right there. And, but if I think, with, with the mouse, obviously. And there, it will be deleted. And I could make something out of clay like for instance an ice cream which i will try my best to make the quickest ice cream in the world so that's my little ice cream because i think i can pop it in just randomly and be like oh hey he's he's got an ice cream we have now taken a frame of him holding an ice cream that it has magically appeared out of nowhere. That's the magic of animation. You can do anything. 
and then I think he's going to have to eat the ice cream. So let's take the ice cream out of his hand and move it slightly closer. There's him. So you see this magical phone? I've downloaded an app which means I can, if it's connected to the same Wi-Fi, it can stream it onto this. And as you can see, I've made him a toe <laughs> that looks hideous. But you can then line it up a bit more with the shadows. But as you can see, this is only a quick video, <laughs> and I'm going to do a quick animation, so it's not going to be as good as my first animation. I haven't put all of the sound effects in yet, but this is how it's meant to be. Look. Yum, 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 I see that. Ah, I grew a cat news! Ah, help me! Ah! The end. Made by Chloe. I'm sorry if this takes a while. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click here. And that is all for me. And don't forget to check out Fish and Game Wine Animation, click here. That is all for me now. The end. Goodbye!